Hey, good morning, folks. Uh, I got a new item in the store this morning that I'd like to uh, touch base with y'all about. It's uh, from the manufacturers of a nail in Greece. They have come up with and designed a componental beehive uh, foam insulated, has easy grips, has clamps to connect boxes. These come in a deep and a mid, uh, has a lot of great things going for it. I'm, I'm very interested in it. I'm going to do a YouTube coming soon on a B install in one of these and we're going to run them in the good old Arkansas heat and see how they hold up. They, they have really caught my eye. They've got a lot of neat features to them. For instance, the foam that is in the walls of the boxes as well as in the cover, as you can tell, it's a very dense, thick, full foam. Uh, not a lot of uh, air gaps and, and things to cause you a problem with insects. They have vent caps and covers built in that allows the bees to have airflow when needed for extra airflow to keep the, the dampness, the moisture out. Anel has for years made products that we've gotten here in the U.S. that have been actually very good products for us. Uh, everyone's familiar with their, with their entrance feeder types um, on the landing board. This has become one of my favorite frame feeders, uh, a deep single frame division feeder, also by Anel. Their bottom boards are a solid molded, if you will, bottom board. You can get these ventilated, you can get them solid. They have a, a little something that catches my eye. Not, not only do you have a blue and a yellow um, entrance guard as far as mice wintering uh, closure when you move them, they are also corrugated or open here at the entrance. Now, I have heard a gentleman told me that he runs these boards and they are great for beetle protection um, due to the simple fact that the beetles have to constantly, you know, find a way to get around these grids which allow them to drop back outside of the box. The, the plastic sidewalls on this bottom board are extremely slick. Uh, a high beetle doesn't have suction cups on his little feet, so when he starts to climb up, he's constantly deterred by the slick edges on these bottom boards. Um, also, the bottom board comes with an adder that can be purchased separately. You simply remove this cleat, add that cleat back to this leg, this is now adjusted here, and you have an oil reservoir to keep pests, ants, and that sort of thing from, from entering and climbing up the legs and entering the hives and the boxes. They've, they've really got a lot of good things going on with this hive. I like the availability to lock the boxes together if needed. Like I said, they have ventilation uh, for the bees here, here, and in the back as well. A very solid, well-built, well-insulated lid. <clears throat> they use a different type of inner cover design. So this is basically a, a propolis trap, a B stop. It's made so that when you have frames in the boxes, so the frames are loaded in the hive, these little pedestals keep this from just completely laying down on it. Um, serves as a good block barrier for the lid. Uh, it keeps the bees up here at a minimum and will help them control combing 
from here to the lid. The, another thing about these boxes, you don't have to have special frames. You don't have to have special inner covers. You don't have to even have extra supers if you don't want them. Your honey supers will go directly on these as well. They fit perfectly on the hive. You can come on up with your honey supers in the spring and summer. When you're finished with those, you want your bees knocked back down for winter, whether you're running these in two deeps or in a deep and a mid like I do, knock them back down to these boxes only, allow them to winter here and then in the spring, take off again in your, in your preferred manner. But all the wooden interchanges. You're, just because you got this doesn't mean you constantly have to buy or purchase this design. But I think that this will be a great overwintering and heat of the summer housing for these bees. They're very thick. They are well insulated. They're very solid boxes. And the hasp system on them, I don't think it makes them grizzly proof, but I can tell you, I do think it will aid you in events where these bees were to actually become knocked over by high winds, cattle, predators, whatever. It could, in fact, help you out in the long run. So, you know, they, they've come up with all sorts of things over the course of time in beekeeping. This is the feeder. This is another, this is a hive top feeder that a nail has had out. We've carried these for years. This is the box system that this was created to sit on top of. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this product. I hope y'all are too. We're gonna put bees in one, uh, run it, see how it does. You're gonna get the updates on it, get my feelings about it. Uh, they will be available here at the store. We don't have them online just yet, but it is coming. These, these uh, boxes ha have really interested me. Um, a nail, a great product. Beehives, components, feeders, bottom boards and boxes. I think that you should give one a try. We'll do our due diligence here and give y'all a full report. So continue watching our channel. We appreciate your business. Thanks for sharing, liking, and subscribing. Till we see you again, roll that beautiful bee footage. Thanks for watching.